according to indian culture sanatan dharma today is celebrated as the beginning of new year this is not like english new year which comes abruptly uh, not in accordance with the nature change in the nature very scientifically in accordance with the nature congruent with nature when there is a beautiful change and newness in the nature the sanatan dharma celebrates the beginning of the new year this new year is called different names in different parts of this country in maharashtra it is called gudi padva padva means the first day and gudi means the flag so you celebrate the first day uh, of the new year in other southern part of country like karnataka andhra telangana it is called yugadi adi means beginning yuga means a new time yugadi and in uh, punjab it is called baisakhi because from today uh, the new ritu the season starts vasanta ritu in assami today the festival is called bihu bihu festival punjab it is called baisakhi in maharashtra it is called gudi padva karnataka andhra telangana called yugadi and in tamil nadu it is called some other name right and sindhi is called cheti chand so that is how the sindh celebrates today this festival and bengal they call this today festival as pohela baishak so like this every state has its own name but finally it all marks the beginning of new year new ritu vasanta ritu so what is this new so which is that beginning what is beginning today so some people think of begin this is uh, you know marking the origin of some yuga so there are four yugas satya yuga treta yug dwapar yug kali yug according to shastra satya yug begins on navami of kartika masa so according to that today is not the beginning of satya yug satya yug begins on navami of kartika mas according to shastras the treta yuga begins on the tritiya the third day of vaishakha masa so this is not vaishakha masa this is chaitra masa so that means today is not the beginning of dwapar yuga also so then uh, sorry treta yuga then again according to scripture the dwapar yuga begins on the amavasya of uh, magha masa right magha masa comes sometimes in january february so that means uh, today is not beginning of dwapar yuga also then what about kali yuga so kali yuga uh, it is said that it begins on the trayodashi of bhadrapada masa somewhere uh, august and uh, september right so that means none of the four yugas began on this day then why is this still called padva or uh, yugadi what is the why is this called so in sanskrit yuga or padva the beginning refers to time basically it refers to time so it is beginning of new time new season harvest season or it is the beginning of a new year so, right so in that context it is used as uh, padva or yugadi not it does not actually means it's a beginning of any yugas the satya yug treta yug dwapar yug kali yug none of the yugas began on this it is actually beginning of the vasanta ritu beginning of the harvest season in the brahma purana it is mentioned what is the speciality of today why the celebration starts so in the brahma purana it is mentioned chaitre masi jagat brahma sasarja pratame hani shukla pakshe samagram tu tada suryodaye sati what is the meaning of this chaitra masa this is chaitra masa why it is called chaitra masa because there is a chitra nakshatra 
so that is why it is called chaitra masa it's a lunar calendar in the lunar calendar the month name comes from the nakshatra the nakshatra on the day of the purnima whichever purnima the nakshatra is there so the entire month is called in that name so chitra nakshatra that is why it is called chaitra masa so chaitra masa pratipada pratipada like in uh, marathi we say padva means a first pratipada in sanskrit means the first first day of chaitra masa that means today what happened lord brahma created all the life living entities on this earthly planet when when that creation was taking place when lord brahma was creating different planets and different types of living entities he started creating life that means living entities on the earthly planet on this day that means that uh, life chaitanya before that there was no life so lord brahma created or he allowed the living entities to take birth on the earthly planet on the pratipada of the chaitra masa so that is the speciality historical can you imagine how sanatan dharma is so great that they have record of every such thing when did the life began the scientists are breaking their head to figure out this they are trying to figure out when did actually the life appear on this earth and brahma purana very nicely clear, clearly without any doubt has recorded when did the life actually take place on this earth pratipada on chaitra masa it started millions and billions of years back so that is exactly this yugadi or gudi padva is celebrated as so um so then also what is the speciality right the speciality is that uh because it is a new beginning beginning life is taking so we have to understand from the scriptural spirit what is the purpose why did lord brahma create life on this planet earth it is to give an opportunity for every living entities to do sadhana and to go back to spiritual world why lord brahma creates he creates opportunity he allows the living entities to be on this planet so that we get to do our sadhana spiritual sadhana right and in sanskrit yuga yug means pair we say radha krishna yugala kishora yugal or yug means jodi jod joda means together pair so what is this pair in this world that we see So that is what today we are seeing in Bhagavad Gita that Krishna is saying. There are so many pairs are there. Every sadaka must be aware of this pair, and this uh, yugadi or gudi padva from the day one, they should know how to do sadhana with this uh, pair. What is that? Shatraucha, mitrecha, enemy and friends. In this world, there is a joda. There is a pair of friends and enemies. and then krishna says mana apamana yo there is man there is respect and there is disrespect apamana ha and then shita ushna shita cold and ushna heat isn't it so this is also one pair sukha dukha sukha happiness dukha distress see how many pair how many yuga yugal are there and then uh, so krishna says samaha what is samaha you should learn to take all these things with equal with equality with equal minded means you should be prepared for both you cannot say i only want mitra i only want mana i only want uh, sukha i right no krishna says if you want to do sadhana especially in this world you should be prepared for all these things and next krishna says tulya tulya again krishna is indicating tulya means again equal 
Nindastutihi. Sometimes people will come and glorify you, praise you. They'll say, without you, I can't be there. You're so important. Sometimes they will say, get lost. Why don't you die? <laughs> Ninda. They'll blaspheme you. Isn't it? Nindastutihi. And then Krishna says that one should be silent. Not unnecessarily respond to everything in this world. So like this. So this Gudi Padvar Yugadi refers that this pairs. Yuga also means, Yuga also means the pair. There are so many pairs like this. So any sadhaka should mentally be prepared for all these things. And this comes again and again in Bhagavad Gita. Starting from second chapter till end it comes. Krishna repeats this to Arjuna again and again. Isn't it? So, what is the meaning of that? Krishna is indicating that uh, we have to mentally be prepared for all those things. Even though we may like a specific thing, everybody should appreciate me, mana. I don't want apamana, but the fact is that apamana also comes for everybody. Whether you take uh, Draupadi or Pandavas, such great devotees, Vaishnavas, completely devoted to Lord Krishna, Maan, Apamaan, both was there in their life. Isn't it? Jaya, Apajaya, victory and loss. Everything. Nobody can escape. If you are in material world, you have to go through this. You cannot say, because I am a devotee, I should not go through the other side. There should not be apamana for me. Everybody should always give me respect. No, whoever you may be, no matter how great person are you, how great devotee, Prahalad Maharaj, how much difficulties he had to go through. Dhruva Maharaj, such nice devotee, so much of apamana he had to go through. Everybody is like that. So, one has to mentally prepare because when we say, oh, new year, naya saal aa hai. So, naya saal baut ummeed, you know, we a lot of asha. Asha means people say, hey, Bhagavan, hame sare achche achche din de do. Isn't it? So, Krishna is saying, aise nahi hoga. <laughs> yeah, this is not going to happen like this. So, what is going to happen? Sukha will come. Dukha will also come. Mana will come. Apamana also will come. Jaya will come. Apajaya also will come. Sheeta will come. Ushna also will come. Isn't it? Everything is going to come. So simply going and praying to Krishna, say, oh, give me only that. That is not right prayer. On this day, on Yugadi, Gudi Padva, what should we pray? Krishna, please give that equal mind, equipoised mind. That is what we should ask. That is what we should be prepared on this, uh, uh, anything that is new in our life. Isn't it? So many times people on uh, birthday or a man marriage anniversary or anything new, they'll send. May your life be filled with happiness. You know? <laughs> what is this? How can only one thing be there? Those who have experienced life, they know this fact. It's not going to be only one-sided story. It will all have full. What is that full? What Krishna is saying in Bhagavad Gita. Shita, Ushna, Sukha, Dukkha, Mana, Apamana, Jaya, Apajaya, Stuti, Ninda. All these things are going to come. So, today is a new year. Naya Sal, according to Sanatana Dharma, the Lord Brahma created all the living entities on this uh, Chaitra Masa, Shukla Pratipada. The new, new living, new newness, the new, living entities took birth to do their sadhana. And to do sadhana, one must be prepared to do sadhana, chanting, right? And uh, whatever is sadhana, in all conditions, you cannot say, if everything is nice, I will chant Hare Krishna Mantra. Now I have failed, right? I failed in my exam. I'm feeling very bad, so I stopped chanting. I lost my job, so I stopped chanting. I made loss in my business, so I stopped chanting. No, that is not the mentality. Mentality should be, both will be there. In both the time, I will do my sadhana. 
all the time i should do my sadhana my sadhana should not get disturbed right this kind of a preparation one has to begin that is a right preparation and that is how in a new year we begin our new year with the right expectation not this faultu expectation that only one side story will be there no that is not the new, right beginning of any new year so what should we do for that so it is mentioned very nicely see how our uh, scriptures tell us how do we celebrate all these things it is mentioned in the shastra shatayur vajra dehaya sarva sampat karaya cha sarva arishta vinashaya nimba kandala bhakshanam what should we do today nimba kandala bhakshanam bhakshana means eating so what are you supposed to eat nimba kandala bhakshanam nimba that nimba sanskrit word has become neem in hindi neem original is nimba nimba means neem nimba kandala kandala means what that uh, you know just new the new leaves are called kandala right then the naya leaf so nimba kandala means that it is just start growing so nimba kandala bhakshanam you should eat a neem leaf today because you are thinking in your mind everything will be nice everything is happy so eat neem which is which is bitter kadava so you have to start your new year with kadava shastra is saying isn't it why do they do they want you to have a kadava new year no not like that so when you prepared yourself for kadava things in this material world every good your every good things will also happen if you say no no only good things i want but kadava things also will come then you will be shocked then you will not do your sadhana properly so that is why it is said uh, of course there are many other benefits also one is the psychologically what we are prepared for shatayur vajra dehaya your body will become vajra deha become very strong by eating this uh, neem leaves and your ayu will increase shatayuhu so that you can do your proper sadhana see we need na we need a uh, good time for what not for sense gratification so that i can complete my sadhana ayuhu we need life span complete life span so that i can complete my sadhana and that complete life span comes by having proper healthy lifestyle and healthy lifestyle means take proper food stuff like this nimba kandala shatayur vajra dehaya we need shata ayuhu and we also need vajra deha we need very strong body strong mind why so that i can do good sadhana shatayur vajra dehaya sarva sampat karaya cha we also need the resources to do my sadhana sarva sampat shatayur vajra dehaya sarva sampat karaya cha sarva arishta vinashaya and also all the enemies arishta means enemies this kama krodha lobha moha madha matsarya all the removing of all that and then nimba kandala bhakshanam we have to take this uh, nimba kandala neem leaves and today and mix that nimba kandala with little bit jaggery and you accept both indicating what krishna is speaking in bhagavad gita what is he indicating shatrau cha mitre cha tatha manapamanayo shita ushna sukha dukkeshu so one is mentally prepared for all these things and uh, so how do we celebrate this gudi padva or yugadi or baisakhi or bihu any whatever name you call so it is said that the shastra say uh, one has to get up early in the morning and what should they do morning vatsaradau vasantadau vatsara refers to year samvatsara we say right samvatsara so this is big it's a new year so vatsara adau adi means beginning new vatsara adau the beginning of a new year 
we should not confuse whenever shastra says new year they only refer to this day chaitra masa shukla pratipada this is the beginning of new year according to shastra not january 1st and all that so it is referring to new year sanatan dharma new year vatsaradau vasantadau that is why they are also clarifying when is this the beginning of the new year the first day of the vasanta rutu vasanta rutu begins on chaitra masa shukla pratipada so vatsaradau vasantadau bali rajye tathaiva cha taila abhyangam kurvano you have to wake up early in the morning and you have to do taila abhyangaha abhyanga means applying the oil on our body taila abhyanga taila means oil abhyanga means you have to apply oil on your body and you have to take bath taila abhyanga kurvano narakam pratipadyate if there are any sinful activities we have done and because of which we have to do naraka darshan so that can be relieved if one takes oil bath on this day other day if you take that this naraka uh, relief will come or not that shastra is not saying but today if you take abhyanga snana in the before that uh, uh, pratipada tithi gets over so shastras give you this uh, you know special Uh, concession that you don't have to go to this and why why we will not go to naraka because shastra says after taking bath one has to chant gajendra moksha simply taking oil bath simply no you know you cannot say oh i will not go to narak why you will not go to narak you have to chant gajendra moksha prayers gajendra moksha how gajendra was into trouble how he was uh, you know facing all the trouble in the water and how he took shelter of narayana how he called out oh god please come save me he took shelter he he chanted the prayers he remembered the lord isn't it then god came so you have to wake up early in the morning take bath abhyanga snana you have to take bath and then with that fresh mind on the first day of the year one has to chant gajendra moksha prayers so and after chanting gajendra moksha prayers one has to uh, go do worship of the lord and then nimba kandala bhakshanam first thing you should eat is neem leaf if you want you can mix little bit uh, jaggery and it and that is preparation body is prepared mind is prepared and with that kind of a mind and body with the right understanding we have to pray to krishna god today krishna this is a new year new opportunity please give me blessing so that i'll do my sadhana every devotee is should be very serious time is very important time is ticking time is ticking we are losing all the time you should not lose any time every moment should be used to for preparing ourselves to go back to spiritual world to remember lord ante narayana smritihi antya kale cha maam eva smaran muktva kalevaram how to remember the lord at the time of death it is not possible if you don't prepare and how do you prepare preparation means preparation with all this conditions situations mana apamana shita ushna sukha dukha jaya apajaya in all the situation i i never forget lord i always remember lord that is a sadhana that is why god has created this world in such a way that we prepare ourselves with all at, uh, conditions like this so uh, this gudi padva yugadi bihu baisakhi or whatever name so uh, we, we have to use this opportunity uh, to prepare ourselves to do best sadhana best sadhana it's a new beginning new opportunity for us right with this attitude if we prepare krishna says such a devotee is very dear to me a devotee with this mood and mentality is dear to me 
And that is how we celebrate. Let us all pray to Lord Krishna that this new year, this uh, uh, Naya Sal may give us the right mentality, good ayu, good health. Uh, as we said, you know, Shata Ayuhu Vajra Deha. Yeah. So we need Vajra Deha, good health and uh, good lifespan. Sarva Sampad, good resources uh, and good mindset, good attitude. The way we read from Bhagavad Gita. So that we will do our sadhana properly. So we'll stop here. Granthara Srimad Bhagavad Gita ki Jagat Guru Sri Ila Prabhupada ki jai.